My name is David. I'm a retired minister of the United Reformed Church. I've been retired for about seven years. I was born in Manchester, but I grew up most of my life in Lancaster. I'm now part of the volunteer chaplains team here at uh, Lancaster Royal Infirmary under Ian Dewar, the full-time chaplain. About 18 months ago, I was called in here with appendicitis. Never seriously ill, but I spent four nights here for the first time in my life. It reminded me of what a, a good, good place a hospital is. I mean, nobody wants to come in here, but um, by the end of my short stay, I was, I was quite sorry to leave, in a sense. They got to know the nurses and the other blokes on the ward, and I thought, this is a good place to be in. I somehow felt very strongly called to come, come and be part of the work again. I'm a member of a team of volunteers. Some of them are retired ministers, but most of them are um, volunteer lay people from local churches in Lancaster. Each of us has time in a particular ward that we, uh, we're assigned to. I'm on the oncology ward, which is a day ward, and I visit here on Tuesday afternoons. I got on the ward and there's a waiting room and two treatment rooms. I introduce myself, I go around the people waiting in the waiting room. If they're willing to talk, I'll ask them what point they are in the, in the treatment or whether it's a new diagnosis. Let the conversation flow from there. They'll either talk about the history of their illness or talk about the family or um, how they feel about their condition. The dog collar can be intimidating to some. They think they might be more poor than <laughs> that they are, as it were. But um, I go with a completely open agenda. I'm not going there to pray with them or to preach to them or to try to get them into church, anything like that. It's a return to pastoral ministry, getting close to people at crisis points in their lives and to have a friend who wasn't an expert but there to be a company that are during a, during a difficult time of their life. It's a personal thing, but in general, I would hope they're glad of a, of a friendly, sympathetic face in a, in a situation like that, who is not a doctor, not a nurse, but as, there, as, as a friend who's willing to listen to what their concerns are. If there's been something good or not so good happened this week, they can share that as well. I love it, yes. It's a challenge, because you never know what you're going to meet in there. But I go with a completely open-handed agenda willing to be a friendly face, a listening ear, hopefully a helpful voice to whoever wants to engage, really. I do love it. There's a team of, I would say, about might be 15 or 20. We do meet together. Ian is terrific in sort of encouraging his volunteers. He obviously greatly values the work that we do. I'm just doing one small part of it on one half day a week. The idea is that it's an accumulative presence of caring Christian chaplaincy in the whole hospital. <laughs>